and gentlemen, our next battle of the evening. Please welcome to the ring to the right corner, Bobby Edgley. So ladies and gentlemen, as we just heard, actually in the red corner, but we're in the blue gloves and the black and yellow shorts. We're in the blue shorts in the blue corner, but with the red gloves, just to confuse you, Reagan Devlin. Great crowd support for both of you this evening in this C-Class contest. Just the process now, feeling each other out in the first round as per usual. Just finding out where they can go, what they can, what their power's like, so we can see what's going on there tonight. Just so you know, Edgley in the red corner, Devlin in the blue. Great power kick. Just feeling each other out, finding out what the power is, where the range is, where they can go. And welcome back, my co-host. Uh, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, little little short kick to the to the to the calf, and to the shin. Just wobbled. Devil in just a little bit. Loving that one, catching the heel, Devlin putting a little bit of more pressure now at the end of the first round, and then we go into the clinch. Oh, bell rang though. Excellent. Well, here we are. We are back in the H Suite here in Birmingham. It has been a great evening so far, and this bout just starting to feel each other out in the first round, as I've already said it several times. But sometimes you've just got to find out. You may not know an awful lot about the opponents that you're facing sometimes. You might not be able to find so much information on them, not many YouTube videos, etc. So sometimes you have to just sort of feel them out, find out what the ranges are, find out what the power is all about, and see where they are in that first round. Towards the end, first we start to see some action. So I think now the second. 
we'll see a bit more action. Here we go, the second round. Devlin straight out with a left kick, right kick, and a forward front kick. Good inside leg kick there. Lovely. Oh! Actually, though, Malik taking that punch on the nose there from Davlin. Actually pushing forward. Davlin coming in, swinging. Oh, and there's the knee from Davlin. Actually needs to put a bit more work in now. Looking at the, looking at the two standing there in front of you. Actually does have the slight height advantage, therefore he must have the slightly longer legs. The body isn't as long as on Devlin. Devlin's body is quite long. And there's the kick, there it is. There's the punches from Edgley. Devlin, quick, come on. Say, come on, you could do better than that. Gording his opponent into mistakes. And then he catches him with the left hand. Actually pushing forward with a kick into the clutch. Very little work there, no legs to work at all there. There we are, there's the style of work with the legs. It was Edgley that did that, got that in there. On the end of the second round. Both fighters' legs start to redden there as it's about his uh, C-class. Yeah. A bit sharper, sharper kicks with the shin. You can get away with it a little bit more now, can't you? Yeah, certainly. What do you reckon that first round, the second round, sorry, this is now our third, isn't it? That second round then this evening, I think, I think, like I said, the first round feeling each other out may have just gone Devlin's way just a little bit. I still think Devlin might have won that one as well, that second, that second round, in my opinion. Yeah, I think he uh, might have just edged it a little bit. It is still quite close. Yeah. But uh, I think every fight so far has been quite evenly matched. That's been a great night here at the H Suite. Good punches there from Devlin. Devlin going straight into the action, pushing the pressure on, Dev on Edgley. Actually looking, trying to get those knees somewhere. You can see the, the reddening on the back of Devlin. Oh, Devlin down. Too much delight with some of the crowd here this evening in the H Suite in Birmingham. Devlin looking for that uppercut. Devlin with good uh, roundhouses off the front leg there. Good hands as well, good hands, good feet so far. Actually, not quite finding his finding his pace and finding his his, uh, his finding his range. He feels a little. It looks a little uncomfortable still. Referee, come on, some instruction. Come on, we've got to see some action. But here we go. Actually, starting to turn the speed Good up. Move there. Great knee. Devlin throwing the lefts and the rights, missing that time. Catching and connecting with the right, right kick to the to the inside leg. Left hand for Devlin. Edgley with the right. Oh, Devlin throwing a few at the end. Edgley showing his his showing that he can handle those. Again, a good third round. Again, I think I think if I'm scoring this bout, I don't know how you're scoring it. I think uh, I think Devlin is uh, slightly edging it, uh, dominating so. most rounds so far. I think so. Great punches from Devlin. Uh, fast, quite fast kicks from uh, Edgley as well. Edgley's kicks though are quite good, and I think he's just like I said earlier. I think he's just struggling a little bit to find his pace, find his space, his, his actual range with him. And then I think Devlin's putting that that movement in that he's finding it difficult to land anything on him. Yeah. So. Devlin's putting the uh, putting the uh, pressure on him at pace yeah. a bit, and he just can't um, hasn't been able to keep up as much so far. It's going into the fourth round. Actually, he's going to be, need to be looking for that knockout. Well, right, fourth round. Devlin opening up with a kick. Actually, taking the back. It's not MMA. 
Oh, some lovely fast hands from Devlin. Devlin with a great uppercut there. Absolutely. Good showing good boxing skills so far. And a great uppercut to the body. The great body shot there as well, yes. And those body shots sometimes don't necessarily hurt until a couple of minutes later. Yeah. So I caught him with the right then as he turned. He's actually turned. Actually, just stepping back, leaning back out with those punches. Putting the pressure on that. Good right back Edgley. house from uh, Edgley. Edgley. Oh, I caught him there on the face with that kick on the right leg. Good knees from Edgley in the clinch. Absolutely. Slightly low, perhaps, at that one. No, 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 no. No incident caused, hopefully. And a lovely front kick by Edgley. Oh, a lovely right hand. Last 10 seconds. Edgley, no, Edgley's leg wobbled a little there. He came back down after the kick. No connection. Oh, oh. a little stumble on Edgley's case there. I don't know if it was a knockdown at all. Yeah, I think it was just a little slip. little stumble. Now, what did worry me in that round was, I don't know if anyone else saw that, but Edgley's leg, when he put it back down after that kick, towards the end of the round, it just wobbled a little. Yeah. Now, Dramlin's running through his body quite a lot at the moment. Now, that could be a little injury. Yeah. And I hope it isn't, because this fight has been good so far. Uh, and it would be hate to end it on that. But... Um, it could just be that obviously the adrenaline and the, the fatigue is setting in a little bit in the legs, so uh, they're getting a bit tired. Let's just watch that and see what happens and develops in the, in the fifth round, our fi final round. Yeah, Devlin, Ed though, looking... Ed Edgley landing a good right round, has kicks to the body there, quite, quite cleanly most times. Touch of the gloves in the fifth round. Slight embrace. Oh, that's the... Oh, oh thought it was showing good sportsmanship at the start of the round. I say that in jest. Oh, great boxing from Devlin. Absolutely. Actually, they're catching the kick well. Actually, looking now to... Oh, he caught him with that one. Epicat as well in the body. Devlin, wonderful boxing, great hands. Actually moving in, putting the pressure on Devlin, forcing Devlin up against the ropes. But yet Devlin's answering everything he's put onto him. This with the uppercut there. Good Cash catch the there. Egg, yeah. Devlin, well done for that one. Just get a, get a left jab from Edgley and they thought they were going to go into the clinch. Need to work more in that clinch. Edgley working hard now in the clinch. Getting the knees in. Great knees by Edgley. Final 10 seconds of the final round of this bout. And the clinch gets broken up there. And the referee says, come on, last couple of seconds. Are we going to see anything? Nothing at all. But never mind, it's been a great bout with lots of action. So much to call between the two of us here. And well done, both fighters. But we don't know who won, unless you think you know who won. Uh, in my opinion, I would say Devlin uh, takes it just by showing dominance in the first few rounds and uh, edging on the scorecards. I think I've gone in four to one, if I'm, if I'm honest. But... Let's go to the ring, let's go to the uh, judges' scorecards, and let's get the final decision.
At a five hands action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Your winner this evening in the red corner. Thank you.